Salaam Alaikum. Welcome back to the Bayside Jewel. How you guys doing on this gorgeous day? Hope you're doing good. I'm coming back at you uh, to share some uh, some information that I found out on uh, Cleopatra. On my previous video, I was talking about Cleopatra and the possibilities of her actually being African because Jada Pinkett Smith is actually doing a movie on her that's going to be released next month in May. So they, they got her, she chose to use a sister as Cleopatra and people are in a, a roar over it because she got a sister playing Cleopatra, right? So my take on that was, so what? She got a sister playing uh, uh, Cleopatra. You know, uh, they done done that with our stories so often, you know? You know, they ha have, you know, white folks playing, uh, I won't say white folks, but Caucasian folks uh, playing uh, Native Americans and we know who the Native Americans are. You know, they, they even uh, St. Nicholas, from what I understand, there really was a St. Nicholas, but he was African. Uh, so many others, you know, you know what I'm, you, you get the idea, you know. Uh, but Michael Jackson, and there's a lot of white folks, uh, uh, Caucasian folks going around imitating Michael Jackson. <laughs> but anyway, so it got me doing some research. And uh, I really wanted to, to dig in and, and see exactly the, as much details as I could get on Cleopatra. And from what I come up with is, I see why they're upset. Cleopatra. From what I find out, from what they say, you know, she's uh, Greek and uh, what they call Macedonian, right? Because that's what her father is. Now, some say her father is mixed with other things, including African also. That's what some say. But, you know, for the most part, uh, Macedonian, if I'm pronouncing it right, and uh, Greek. And what happened was, you guys, is how you wonder how did she even get in the empire, right? Well, her father is due to her father. Her father uh, helped the Egyptians fight off the, the Romans, to my understanding. And they fought them off pretty good and got them the back out of Egypt. And after that war, he made himself a pharaoh in Egypt, right? He made himself the pharaoh. So it wasn't like the people wanted him to be pharaoh. He made himself the pharaoh because he, he, was, uh, he was the one that really uh, saved him from Rome. Okay, so upon his death, Cleopatra, uh, she becomes the inheritor of, of uh, her father's position, you know, the pharaoh. So, but the law in Egypt at the time was they, you had to be married to be a pharaoh, right? That's what the law was. So what she did was she married her brother, you know, her younger brother, just so that she could have that title of, of being pharaoh of Egypt. So you guys, you see, I gather, you know, this, these were along the times that, you know, our, our uh, African pharaohs, had fallen off, you know, this is along the time they had fallen off and people were trying to invade uh, Egypt all the time, you see? And, and particularly these Romans. So, so when her father died, she became Pharaoh after she married, married her brother. And the Romans uh, wanted to come back in there again and deal with Cleopatra and her and her husband, well, I think he was her husband at the time, Mark Anthony, 
they both committed suicide from what I understand. They both, you know, committed suicide. They say she took a snake bite, and I don't know what he did. He might have did the same thing. I don't know. But, yeah, so I had to come, come back at you guys with this story of uh, Cleopatra. So not only was she not African, Cleopatra was not, she wasn't even Egyptian, you guys. She wasn't African, and she was not Egyptian. And the thing about it is, is... Uh, in my opinion, from, from the sculptures of her, she wasn't even all that beautiful. <laughs> Seriously, she wasn't even all that beautiful. When they do the movies, they, they make her look so beautiful and tell the story like she was so banging. But from the sculptures of, of uh, how they sculpt that she, you know, would look, it ain't beautiful, that's for sure. Probably a sister would probably do her some justice playing as Cleopatra, in my opinion. But anyway, you guys, yeah, I just had to come back on here because, you know, I did have some, some interesting comments. Uh, somebody uh, su suggests to me that she was an invader, and sure enough, uh, that's kind of similar, you know, uh, her father got in there by helping the Egyptians fight off the Romans and, uh, she just inherited his p position, that's all. But, uh, and then another comment was like, y y y you should read some history books. You know, I thought I knew, uh, some things about Cleopatra, but apparently I didn't know enough, you know. But, yeah, so I'm here to uh, put this on, on f for you guys to, to share with you that, yeah, she probably was not even uh, Egyptian. She, definitely she was not Egyptian, let alone being African, from what I see, from, from my studies. This is, you know, hey, just, just doing a little research, that's all. But this is what I see. Now, I did point out that, you know, Africans started the uh, civilization of, of Egypt, and that's, that's a true fact, that's documented fact. The other thing that I want to let you guys know is that, you know, really it all started in Kush, from Kush, Kush Empire. From Kush Empire, which is now South Sudan, to North Sudan, which was Nubia. North Sudan was Nubia and South Sudan was Kush, right? So, uh, yeah, so it started there, right along from Kush Empire to uh, Nubia, you know, right along the Nile River until, until they settled there in Egypt and start building up Egypt. Africans did that. Yeah, African, our ancestors did that. Now, Building that, that uh, civilization, you know, it was a powerful civilization at one time. The Greeks and the Romans would come there to learn. That's a fact. That They would come there to get educated. And that's a fact. So, you know, when you talk about uh, uh, ancient Egyptians, it definitely were the African people, not the so-called uh, Egyptian people that are there now. No. Not them. Definitely not them. Hell, they don't even like to be called African. Definitely not them. So they're not Egyptian. You know, uh, descendants, we uh, are descendants uh, of those great pharaohs. We are descendants of those spread out all across Africa, even. Descendants of some of those great pharaohs. So, but it ain't them. It ain't them. It ain't, it ain't the Egyptian people that are in Egypt now calling themselves Egyptian. It ain't them. They, they don't even like Egypt. Shit. In my opinion. <laughs> but anyway, just had to come back at you guys. Until next time from the Bayside Jewel. Brother Bay here. We're going to sign out. Salam alaikum. <laughs>